All right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't going to submit me. I'm going to try to take it down. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. And you laugh just like that. Shot a double leg. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's going to try to attack a Kimura here. He'll, now he falls back into the finishing position. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. If you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to switch to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Takedown defense holds up. Lee's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put Now he has a headlock going. trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes. Nicely done. Oh, huge hammer fist landing now. It's over, you can't take these punches. You gotta move, you gotta escape or he's gonna finish the fight. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the back. Now watch it. Oh, man, that was slick. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. What a punch. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target front. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Oh! Final second to round one! Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh, and what a round!
All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shot. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. Straight punch land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh. Pretty good right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. trying and finally got him to the ground now try to hip escape he's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom the kimura is not the arm it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap he actually goes to an omoplata great pressure going forward by the top not tapping out tonight all right side control now dc when you get side control in a fight what are you looking for when I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, man, this guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up, he throws them across the body. He just, oh, high elbow guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. All right, so he postures up and he's out. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. up there, gain some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Back mount now. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. 
Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Looking for a guillotine. Some of the action in that round, DC, there was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Third round underway. Beautiful strike. Beautiful hook. Left hook counter. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue. Oh, he's got every choke in the book trying to set one up here. Oh, wow, oh! He might get a finish here. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Close guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish. He's All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Back to his feet. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to the ground. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserved quick level change now. He went single into a high crash. Oh, he's taking his beautiful ride. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, he's got a choke. He should be defending right now. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. All right, side control now. 
Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. One minute now to go in the third. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered in the feet. And now this guy is trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone over. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He's going to he's okay. Now he can escape. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. He's having his way with him here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Side control. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound him. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the corner's base, and then just he jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes for the finish. Watch. Nicely done. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. He's attack on board now. 
you got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you've got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotines, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Well, he's got his back now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Back mount now. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Fifth and final round. Big punch lands over the top. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, now going for the takedown. He went right into the single leg, used the power of his legs to lift him and slam him to the ground. Oh! And really starting to make these shots count. All right, half guard position for him here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He actually goes to an omoplata. Great pressure going forward by the top fighter now. You can certainly count on one hand the number of omoplatas that have been executed in the octagon. And he's out. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Relentless pressure from the top by Lee. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. And he gets it. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Lands with the ground and down here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Side control now.
Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Lee gets back up again. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice connection. Oh! What a fantastic to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Under two minutes now with which to work. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Gotta be careful, Armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. trouble he got it. he got it John oh he got it done absolutely he finishes his opponent by way of submission <laughs> 